Hi again, I'm Ellie Atchison El Masri and welcome back to my studio. If you saw the first video, you will have maybe got yourself by now uh, a little A6 notebook that I suggested or recommended that you might use to get you started in art or get you started to think a bit more creatively and generate creative ideas. And uh, in this video today, I'm going to talk specifically about uh, some key ways to start generating creative ideas more generally. So I could make a lot of videos about this and I probably will, I hope, uh, but we're going to start the, today's video really with looking at five, first five ways to get creative ideas. So we can say this is part one. And the key thing here is to become an observer. Okay, become an observer. So whether you're intending this to turn into something visual arts wise or more generally to generate creative ideas, you can also use this book as a notebook. You see, you can write in this book, there's nothing to stop you doing that. So it may be that for some of these ideas, you're gonna be making some notes, you're gonna be writing. So wherever you are this week, perhaps you might like to try the first task, which would be to start by looking at what catches your attention today. What catches your attention today? Now, maybe it's not the obvious things, maybe it's something unexpected, but if we pick out one thing in your day today that catches your attention, start to be aware of what's happening around you. You know, if you're traveling to work, just start to, just start to be aware of what's going, start to observe a little bit more. If you normally look just inside the train carriage, start to look outside and vice versa. If you normally look down, uh, down, at the floor perhaps you're reading or maybe you're sketching by now and you're doing it on your lap maybe you, you look up at the ceiling you know so begin to be an observer and start to find what catches your attention today maybe you go out at lunchtime or you take a walk and there's some carrier bag flapping around it's got caught on a lamppost or something and it's flapping around and it's it, it grabs your attention it, it grabs your notice and and something about it. What I'd like you to do is to make a note of what it is. So once you're aware of the thing that's got your attention, make a note of what it is about it that's got your attention. You know, is it the noise? Is it the colour? Is it the, you know, it, the incongruity, the, the weirdness of having that wrapped around a lamppost or it went flying past you? Or something else that just happened, a little incident, a colour that you spotted somewhere that was kind of um, just, just got your attention because it was bright or it was unusual so start to be aware of things that happen around you and maybe just make a note you might want to make a little sketch okay you might capture it like that because maybe or maybe it was something that the shape was unusual or the sound was unusual it might be something that you hear but the, th the thing is to become a little bit more in tune to what's going on around you start to take notice okay so that's number one Pay attention and find what catches your attention today. Maybe in a week you'll have seven things, okay? The next thing, number two, is to look at something familiar in a new way. Look at something familiar in a different way. Now, what you could do if you're traveling and you've got your phone on you and you've got a lot of photos on your phone is you could actually start to, start to look at the photos and then use the rotate feature in the in the photos and just if you've got pictures of family or friends whatever start rotating them and actually start to look at them differently you might find that you've done this in any case maybe something's flipped automatically and then you've rearranged it but you haven't really looked at it now start to look start to look and see what different shapes these things make by flipping them on their side if you've got some beautiful view you took a picture of on bank holiday on a bank holiday weekend or any weekend then you can just flip it upside down what does it look like what does it look like does it look like suddenly looks like some other kind of fantasy scene this is a way to surprise yourself and to kind of jolt your thinking a little bit into the unexpected and that process can help to open up other areas of creative thought so it's just try that out you know artists can't what we commonly do as artists when we're starting out is in our studio we might we might arrange it and then actually we might just turn the drawings around, turn turn the pictures around, on, turn them on their side. And you can also try that in your in your home space. So if you've got some, some pictures on a wall or photographs, just try them the other way around. You know, give yourself a visual surprise. OK, so that would be my second tip. Look at something familiar in a different way. OK, tip number three and another challenge for each day of the week would be to find a new colour in your day find a new colour in your day. So again, you're observing what's going on around you. And you know, maybe if you're not an artist or working with colours a lot, it may be that you don't 
really look for the unusual. You don't you don't look for that. You you see the obvious, the sky is blue, the grass is green, the road is grey. Start to find the colour that is not easy to define. Okay? It may be a colour that you really like, like you see a sunset and there's a point in the sunset where it's if it's a beautiful evening, it's not quite pink, it's not quite orange. Can you put some words to that? Can you begin to describe what that colour is if you were describing it over the phone to somebody else who hadn't seen it, you know? Maybe it's a kind of, it's it's the part of the road that got wet and it's a slightly different colour to the rest and you think, well, how would I describe that colour? So make a note of it, whether you like it or not, you have a feeling about it or not, you might do, you might not, but begin to observe and try to describe each, uh, each colour every day of this week, okay? So that would be tip number three, find a new colour in your day every day this week, okay? The next one, number four, my tip would be make a different arrangement of your stuff, okay? Make a different arrangement of your stuff. We all seem to have a lot of stuff in our lives, okay? So if you're someone who has a few pairs of shoes and you always stack them in a certain way at the end of the day, you may be not a tidy person, but it tends to be the people who are in habits and are in the habit of doing the same thing all the time. That That is where you get stuck creatively. That is where you get stuck because you're always doing the same thing. You're always in a routine. Now, some habits are really good, but there's some that can just kind of restrict your thinking, restrict your ability to play with your space. And so much about creative thinking is relating to play, okay? And that spirit of playfulness and surprise, you know. So if you sh always put your shoes that way round, why don't you, when you get home or at home, wherever you are, turn them around the other way, you know, give yourself a visual surprise. Maybe you go into your wardrobe and you don't look, you close your eyes maybe, and you rearrange stuff, you know, okay, just, just rearrange stuff and you can't really see what goes with what or what's going where. And then after that, you open your eyes and have a look at the possibilities of arrangements of clothes that you have made for yourself. You know? So it's about doing the unexpected, doing the unexpected and allowing that to happen. Nobody's going to come along and judge your wardrobe. You know, nobody's going to come along with a clipboard and look at your shoe stack. You know, it really doesn't matter. So you can just change it back again later. So it was a rubbish idea. It didn't work for me. But you might surprise yourself, okay? And if you have everything, as I say, regimented, then that is really the enemy of creativity. It really is. You know, that's okay for, you know, soldiers in line, but it's not going to work here. You need to be able to think outside of the box. So that would be step number four, is make a different arrangement of your stuff, okay? Um, number five would be to try taking something an unexpected step further. Try taking something an unexpected step further. Again, it's going to be about what you see. So an example here, you might have a little bit of a challenge to think about these things, but um, I've got here, I've had a, a really beautiful black tulip here, and uh, I was painting some tulips a little while ago, and, you know, generally speaking, people have flowers. As soon as they go off, we throw them out. Well, when you're an artist, that doesn't always work like that. You may decide that you keep on having a look at this as it changes shape, as it dies and transforms into something else. Maybe the petals drop off, they start to look like something else. This may be something that you, you did a little sketch of and it may be that you kept this for another week and each day you did a little drawing of it and you look at it from a different angle and you start to see something that is maybe quite familiar in a different way or something that you would regard as regularly beautiful you allow it to you allow it to go on a bit further and and then see the beauty in it find the beauty in it by observing it for longer over the period when you might normally have thrown it out now it might be a food stuff it might be a pear that's gone all like bleh, in the bowl as they do sometimes well don't throw it out immediately maybe let it be for a bit and then observe it and maybe make a little drawing of it or make notes of what's happening with it Maybe you find some words to describe what's happening on the skin, on the surface. Maybe that's the colours that you find that you're trying to find words for. So become an observer in these different ways. There's five ways to get you going with this. Have a go with it. And I'd love to hear your comments or feedback or suggestions. So please feel free to comment below or you can direct me, message me on Instagram. I'm Ellie Atchison Almasri. So feel free, take notice and make notes. Thank you for watching.